Hey, I'm Furball. I'm Bobby Freedom. And today we're going to play a game called Battle Kid in 3D on the 3D SCN emulator. Um, Battle Kid, is this a, a homebrew game? I don't know. I kind of thought that it might be immediately, though. Yeah? Like, I'm not sure if I've heard of it or not. Fortress of Peril. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. yeah. Definitely uh, completed in 2010. They were not making NES games officially by then, so this is a home brew that looks interesting so far. It looks pretty well put together. Yeah, thanks, Cybat Games. Yeah. Let's get into it. Or Seawalk. Start like a new a, game. We have no passwords. Normal difficulty. Yeah, it had five difficulties, so that's interesting. Dr. Tina Byers. Hmm. Hmm. These graphics look really nice. Yeah, pretty clear. And those are a lot of colors to be using on the screen, I believe. I like that little picture. Yeah. Oh, wow. So we're oh. taking a trip to the Fortress of Peril. Alright, Space Marine. <laughs> Ooh, it's kind of Mario-ish. You shoot cannonballs out of your arm? Alright. Nice. Music sounds good. Oh, wow. I like the Whoa. speed of it. He moves quickly. Yeah. Shoots quickly. Oh. I just destroy Ooh. anything you I see. You see the little blob-faced bad guy? Like, what the hell is that? Wow, that was excellent. Ooh, that's right. Oh, I need to see what this is. Okay. Oh yeah, alternate routes. Nice. Whoa, you just went to a portal that is... I guess I'm gonna find other portals. Oh my goodness. I wonder if I need to do that every time. I don't guess so. You're yeah, wearing the Lotus not. Guardian. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Okay, watch out for those. Oh. Okay. Okay. Guess you gotta just use your hauling assness and <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Alright. I like how it's, you know, platforming, but it's scrolling up screens as well. You don't see a lot of games that go both directions by, or at least not very far. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he definitely did some stuff here. It's difficult to get that timing. Yeah. Looks like that's, you know, something but the, uh... keeps you into oh, it, like the speed of it, you know, like you said. And... Well, yeah, you know, you know, you it might. It seems have like to... you're making a lot of distance in the short amount of time you're playing, too. So it's like, it seems kind of rewarding, you know. Yeah, like it's easy to start over when you don't feel like it's gonna take you that long to get to where you left off. Yeah. How tedious. Oof. Haha. <laughs> oh. oh! Man. I flew too close to the They sun. are not forgiving at all, are they? Like, you just, like, you can't touch shit. <laughs> I like that about them, though. And, I guess Infinite continues. There's no countdown on that. Yeah, and then you have a password, like, I guess so you could collect items or whatever. Yeah, I saw, like, inventory and stuff. Yeah. I bet if we kept at it. You know, maybe for a future long play or something. Yeah. I bet we could get pretty far. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot to it. Like, pretty yeah. well put together for a homebrew game, you know? I liked like, it. It was cool. Definitely something worth playing, you know? Um, yeah. Battle Kid. Battle Kid. In the Fortress of Peril. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, good name, too. Like, yeah. Oh, the name caught my eye. Yeah. 
Man. All right. Well, if you like that sort of video, uh, you know, click the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.